Oh, cutscene? Like the third cutscene in the whole game? Pretty sick. I think we're at the glorious firing range. Whew. That was scary. I think about half the nerves in my body are now shot, yes? Yeah, my heart's about to burst from my chest. Still, there's not much else the enemy can do to us at this point, right? No, we shouldn't let our guard down. Yeah, the society has a bad tendency of ignoring stuff like common goddamn sense. We need to watch out until the second we land. There's an opening in the clouds ahead. We're entering the floating island's airspace. A fourth cutscene. This is more FMV-like, though. We're now over the flying city, ma'am. Wow. Holy stragas. This is the jewel of ancient Zemeria. Even more mind-blowing than I imagined. Hmm, look at that enormous tower-like structure. I put good money on that being an important part of the island. If we're gonna land, I put that I put down near that, Captain. Good idea, Professor. Echo, anything on radar at the Glorious? One moment. No enemy contacts within 50 Selge. We seem to have left the Glorious in our dust, ma'am. Good. Lux, slow to one-third and begin landing. Put us down near that tower. Aye, aye, ma'am. Huh? Dorothy. You had a photo quartz already, girl, I swear. Oh no, I have plenty of that. But isn't there something weird over there? What the? No way. What in the world? Oh, hello. It's a gear from Xenogears. Let us see then. What will you do when your wings of hope are ripped from your back? Music suddenly gets really loud. <laughs>
finale, Trails in the Sky. I had to look at my phone really quick. Sorry, chat. I need to really quickly respond to this message. Estelle. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I don't really know how that dialogue was supposed to be read. Oh, ah, uh, good, you're awake. Are you alright? Are you hurt? No, I think I'm fine. Banged my elbow, but yeah, I'm okay. But everyone else... I'm not dead, at least. Ugh. Ow. I'm fine. Well, that was thrilling, if nothing else. You remember the other half of my nerves? They're all quite gone now, thank you. That's the closest I've ever brushed shoulders with death. <laughs> no, I can't eat that much. At least Dorothy's having a good time. Or the, oh, I guess I ought to be grateful she ain't hurt. Dorothy, wake up. Nap time's over. Oh, Niall? Major Vander, how about you? As well as could be expected. Nothing seems broken over here. I'm unhurt, ma'am. Think I'm okay? I thought we were goners. Real miracle. Or perhaps he simply left us alive. That's right. The one riding that thing, that was... Yeah, it was Luve, no doubt. Son of a... In that case, I'm certain he stayed his hand. If he really wished to, he could have torn us to pieces. Kind of not sure how I feel about that. At any rate, where are we? Looks to be somewhere on the periphery of the island. We should step out and take a stock of the situation. Take stock of the situation. Oh, wow. It's really pretty. Wow, so many pictures. Uh, Dorothy, don't blow all your other quartz in five minutes, all right? Gotta admit, this isn't what I expected at all. This is less like a city and more like a garden. I wonder, perhaps this is just like the city parks in certain large cities? It does sort of feel that way looking at it, though I've never heard of a city park so huge that you can't see the end of it in any direction. Scale of it does overwhelm. Yo, Sieg, he made it! Sieg's alive! You'd love to see it. Squeak, squeak! Sieg, thank goodness. I was afraid you'd been hurt or got lost. Don't worry, we're all fine too. Squeak! Squeak, squeak! Ah, I see, thank you. Apparently, we've crashed on the easternmost side of the city, and the Glorious is docked on the opposite side. The damage to the r style looks worse than it actually is. The engines themselves are virtually untouched, and the flight field generator mostly just needs to be beaten furiously with a wrench. The problem lies in a lot of our finer systems, our stabilizers for starters. Ironically, we could plow forward just fine, but hovering steadily would be an issue as things stand. I see. First order of business needs to be organizing everyone we can for repairs. I may be an outsider here, but I'll help in any way you require. Thank you, Vander. That will solve the problem with the Arsile, but our real struggle will be locating the Ariole in the massive city. Especially since it seems likely our friends in the society are already here. Yes, if they claim the Ariole, who knows what they may do with it. Given everything they've done until now, you have to imagine it would be nothing good for anyone else. We need to get out there and find a way to stop them. No complaints to that idea. We should get moving right now. Trying to run off in multiple small groups would just be chaos though. I think it'd be wise to use a single exploration team. I agree. And the first thing we gotta find is some kind of powered means of getting around the city. Trying to walk would take forever. Where's Joshua? Or, no, I, I almost said Joshua, but no, Joshua just said nothing. Joshua was the one talking. What is it, Joshua? It's nothing, really. Anyway, the exploration team's gonna need backup. 
Ideally, we should have people ready to swap in and out as soon as the team returns to the Arsile. A good idea. I'd like to join in myself, but right now I need to oversee the Arsile's repairs. Okay, so like no required characters for this dungeon. Let's go ahead and decide who's leaving first. Kevin, obviously. Olivier is so behind. I have not used them like at all. Maybe Chloe? Together now. Actually, wait. No problem. We use Zinnereni, we use Sherizard, so like Agate or Chloe, maybe? We'll go with Chloe for now. We'll probably switch between each characters often, mostly because, you know. We, uh, we're probably gonna fight enforcers later. Alright, the Stella, your group of four will explore the city. Do you remember that we have no idea what's out there, society or otherwise? Don't do anything foolish. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Oh, no, I should have put Zin and Shara to take out their quartz. We'll be looking for a way around the city of anything else. Good luck to you, then. Everyone else will remain behind on the standby and help repair the Arsile. Okay. By the way, that reminds me, one small mercy. Shutdown phenomenon doesn't seem to be happening here on the island. Okay, so this is the reason I'm able to use arts. Finally, my word. The tactical orbits should work just fine away from the Arsile, even without handheld zero field generators. Really? Well, hey. Grandpa, how can you tell? Well, truth be told, the biggest casualty of the crash was the Arsile's ZFG. Even with its peace, all of our orbital systems are operating just fine. Father Graham's theory seems to have been right on the mark. Right, the Arsile neutralizes foreign orbital elements. But if we can get onto the island, we surely can be foreign, right guys? Yes, I'm willing to guess it can tell the difference. Whew. Yeah, talk about small mercies. Going out there without any arts or anything would be kind of harsh. And unfun. I take it that means orbital workshop tools are also functional? Oh yes, everything survived the crash just fine. If you need your orbits tuned up, just say the word. Got it. I suspect we'll be stopping by a lot. Oh, definitely. I guess they're not going to be like, hey, this is who you need for, um... Each boss, but... I'm assuming we'll get more dialogue if we, like, use characters for each of the enforcers. Okay, then. Is everyone ready to take a look around outside the ship? Let's be off. Sorry, Estelle. I actually need to prepare something from the ship's storeroom. Something to help if I sneak around again. Did I ask you to wait a bit? Oh, uh, sure. Hey, I should probably tune up my crossbow. Come to think of it, let me join you. Estelle, why don't you and the gang hang out in the lounge, lounge for a bit? Okay. We'll be waiting, then. My man, you're a dude of many talents, but lying ain't one of them. <laughs> Sorry, lying to her isn't. I think the one you should apologize to eventually is Estelle. Anyway, you're sure? Yeah, I made my decision. Kevin? Father Kevin, please, you're the only one who can help me. Alright, alright, don't need to lay it on me that thick. Come on, that little lie ain't gonna buy us much time. Let's get to the medical bay. Joshua, Kevin, you're done. Sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah, sorry, preparing that took a while. I don't mind, but are you two okay? You look tired unless I'm crazy. Um, some of it took a lot of concentration. Don't worry, we're fine. Yeah, the stuff Joshua made will really help. Well, if you say so. Let's get going, then. I want to actually go get Shara and Zinn and take their quartz out. Does Kevin have the quartz I gave him from before? No, doesn't look like it. Didn't I give, uh, what was it? I need to get Shara and Zinn's quartz, for starters. If I can find the other kid. Here's Tita. We'll do that. This ought to perk you up. This ought to perk you up. So... Probably gonna use Kevin for like the rest of the game. I'm probably always gonna use Estelle, Joshua, Kevin, and the last character is gonna be the one I swap. I'll be I'll be swapping like a little as the dungeon goes on, maybe. So, because of that, I'll probably focus on upgrading Kevin's slots a lot. Is that a blue? Do I have to put blue there, or does, does, does blue just happen to be there? 
because I want to give Kevin... Yeah, okay, I can put the Emerald Gem. So I want to give you uh, Aerial Storm or whatever. Aero Storm. This could be a Mind 4, maybe. You have Aero Storm now. Maybe giving you that... Uh, I mean, Estelle has the Ruby Gem. Maybe just an Attack 3. We got some fire. Why do you? Why do you have action? EP cup for you would be good. We can get one of these. EP cup four. give you a lot of good stuff. I mean, Chloe's gonna end up having a lot of water, because she mostly focuses on water. I can upgrade one more slot with Chloe. I can give her a yin-yang. And just give you this either heal or mind three. Maybe heal, because it has, like, multiple orbits. EP cut three is fine for you. And then I'll also give you maybe a mind right there. And now you have all the water stuff. Save up. A finale. Then just give me some... Ooh, Valkyrie Rod? Pog? Give me all these weapons. And now just the ones that I'm using the characters of. So feed. Where's Chloe's? Oh, Chloe really has it. If it works, it works. Let's see if I can give you a mind four. I'm at a blue rip. That's fine for now, I think. Oh, wait, did I get armor? I don't think I got armor yet. The two of these. These lower ATS, which is annoying. To lower my defense but higher my other stuff maybe hiring adf is pretty good we could do that all right i think we're good to start this final dungeon save up Change it up a little bit. Okay, go this way. Where, oh where... Can I go? Oh, is this like something you could- Oh, it's a bridge! I didn't even know this, this was a bridge. I mean, I should have realized it. Hey guys. Don't mind me passing through. Beautiful. Well, that's definitely a sight. I'm not even sure how to put this. It's sort of hard to believe we're actually in the sky, you know? The ancient Zemerian culture was more than just its technology. It seems they had a great understanding of how to use our technology, too. 
Very fitting that the final dungeon here is like actually in the sky. <laughs> this being trails in the sky. West Carmore Station. 